Your Vixia camcorder can be powered with the included battery pack or compact power adapter. The first time you use the battery pack, give it a full charge, and then use your camcorder until the battery pack is fully drained. To charge the battery pack, connect the power adapter to the camcorder's DC in slot and plug it into an outlet. Then attach the battery pack by pressing it gently until it clicks in place. Your battery will begin to charge when the camcorder is turned off. Okay, first things first. After you charge the battery, you'll need to set the date, time, and time zone. Let's use this example to also become more familiar with how the touchscreen menu works. The date time screen will appear automatically when your camcorder's clock isn't set. First, touch the field for what you want to set. The month, the day, the year, the hour, or minutes. Simply touch the up and down arrows to make the changes you want for each of these settings. And when you're done, touch OK to start the clock and close the setup screen. Before you begin shooting and sharing your HD videos, you'll want to familiarize yourself with your Vixia camcorder's advanced features so you'll know what you can do. And you'll also want to become comfortable with its unique capacitive touchscreen menu operations. The user interface has been updated to make your shooting experience easier and more fun. Now you can easily touch and drag your way through all your Vixia camcorder's features and functions. Choose a focal point, track moving subjects, control exposure for selected areas, and operate camcorder controls from the screen, all with a simple touch. The Vixia HF-R50 camcorder is equipped with an 8GB internal memory drive, and the HF-R52 is equipped with a 32GB internal memory drive. In addition, both these camcorders, along with the HF-R500 camcorder, can use an SDHC or SDXC memory card to store everything you shoot. SDXC cards are the latest high-capacity cards. And here's a tip on how to choose and use the right memory card for your shooting situation. Be sure to check the card's speed class. The speed class, which is listed on the outside of the package, indicates the memory card's minimum guaranteed data transfer speed. For recording movies with a video quality of 60p or 35 megabits per second, it's best to use SD cards with a speed class rating of 6 or 10. For all other video quality options, the recommended speed class is 4, 6, or 10. When using an SDXC memory card within a card reader or computer, make sure that the device is compatible with SDXC cards. If it isn't, you may get a prompt asking to format the memory card. That will erase all recordings if you click OK. So be sure to only use your memory card with a compatible device. To insert the memory card, first turn off the camcorder by making sure that the on-off indicator is off. Next, open the memory card slot cover. Insert the memory card at a slight angle with a label facing toward the lens, all the way into the memory card slot until it clicks. Close the memory card slot cover and press until it clicks. That's it. When you want to remove the memory card, push it once to release it. When the memory card springs out, pull it all the way out. When you use the memory card with your Vixia camcorder for the first time, you need to initialize it. You can also initialize a memory card to permanently delete all the recordings it contains. To initialize the memory card, first power up the camcorder using the compact power adapter. Be sure not to disconnect the power until the initialization is complete. Press Home. Touch Other Settings. The Tool icon. The Initialize the Memory Card icon. Initialize. Yes. OK and exit. One final note. When you want to transfer or view your recordings to a computer, be sure to use the transfer utility of the Pixela software that's available for free with your camcorder. To record video or to see what you've recorded, your camcorder has to be in the proper operating mode. 
you can set the operating mode by toggling the control switch, record, or playback. The home menu is your gateway to most of your camcorder's functions and settings. After you press this button, the home menu will appear. And you can then select from the various buttons available depending on whether the camcorder is in the record or playback mode. The Bixia HF-R series allows you to record in MP4 or AVC HD, so you can pick the format that best suits your needs. The MP4 format is designed for easy viewing on everything from smartphones to tablets to laptops and computers. Its smaller file size and compatibility for uploading to various websites like Facebook and YouTube allows for easy sharing of videos anytime, anywhere. The high quality AVC HD format is excellent for viewing on large screens like HD TVs or for archiving your recordings for future use. You can select the bitrate for each of these modes to balance quality and file size. In the MP4 mode, you have four bitrate options. Choose 4 megabits per second for longer recordings and 17, 24, or 35 megabits per second for higher quality video. In AVC HD mode, there are four options as well. If you're shooting with the Vixia HF R52 or R50, selecting Dual Relay Recording allows simultaneous recording of movies in MP4 and AVC HD format. And the Vixia HF R52 and R50 camcorders also have built-in down conversion capabilities that converts the larger AVC HD files to smaller MP4s or even MP4s into smaller MP4s to make it easy to edit, share, or upload your video to the web. The movie you want to convert must be in the built-in memory. And after the conversion, the smaller MP4 movie will be saved on the removable memory card. Here's how. Open the index screen in the built-in memory. Hit Edit. Convert to MP4. And OK. Choose a conversion quality. Then you're ready to touch each scene you want to convert. You'll see a check mark on the ones you choose. Touch OK and then Next. Touch Start to convert the scene. And you're done. The menu system provides you with many options to capture the highest quality HD images. And many of your camcorder's functions can be adjusted on your touchscreen from the function panel and the setup menus. Right now, we'll focus on the most important ones you'll be using when shooting. In record mode, the function panel displays the most frequently used shooting functions. Touch function to access this panel. And then touch the function you want to adjust and it's just as easy and intuitive with the setup menus as well. In record mode, press Home. Then touch Other Settings. Touch the tab of the menu you want. Drag your finger along the scroll bar to bring the setting you want to change into the orange bar. When it's there, touch inside the frame on the right. And when you're done, or to close the menu at any time, touch the X button. 